Hi my friends, Miss Emily here. Right now I'm in the story time room of the Spout Springs Library and as I can, uh, guess you guys can see behind me, it's raining pretty hard. It looks really cool out there. Um, I'm back with some more picture book suggestions for um, some books that you can place on hold that are here in the library and um, there are some books that are inspired by summer. Now for us at the library, summer always means summer reading program. And this summer, our theme is uh, Imagine Your Story, which is fairy tales and folk tales and myths and legends. At least that's what it makes us think about here. So with that in mind, I picked five books off of the shelf that have to do with those themes. And my first book is a book for you fans of folk tales and cleverness and animals. And it is called Anansi and the Magic Stick. Um, Anansi is a folk tale from the Ashanti people. Um, and it's beloved all over the world. There's many Anansi stories. Um, and in this one, we have Anansi, who is the spider here. Um, he is around his neighbors and it's a beautiful sunny day, unlike today. Um, and all of his neighbors are out working and being very busy. Anansi, though, um, is not. He's being very lazy and sleeping all day. Um, so his neighbors, like the warthog and the lion, start to make fun of him. Uh, they laugh at his messy yard. So Anansi gets a little mad and he decides he will show them. So he goes for a walk and he discovers an amazing secret that has to do with magic. Um, really good story. And like I said, if you like this one, there are many more Anansi books in um, our collection that you can place on hold. All right. My second book is for you dragon lovers and you I spy lovers. It is have you seen my dragon? And in this story, we have a little boy who is walking around this big city looking for his dragon. Um, he sees monkeys, he sees taxis, he sees the dog park, as he walks around asking, have you seen my dragon? Um, maybe he'll find him, maybe he won't, but it's a great story. All right, so for you fairy lovers out there, I've got this book, Poppy, Buttercup, Blue Bell, and Dandy. Um, and we have four flower fairy friends here. Uh, Poppy is kind of the ringleader. She's the, the red fairy. And they decide they've got to help change the world. Um, I won't tell you how, but it's really fun. And if you love fairies, I bet you will love this book. All right, so my fourth book pick is for you guys who were, when you were little kids, you might have heard the rhyme Humpty Dumpty. You know, he sat on a wall, he had a great fall. Um, this book is a sequel to that rhyme. It's called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. So uh, Humpty tells us in this story that he doesn't want you just to remember him for having fallen because there's a lot more to his life than that. Um, so it's a really great story. Um, maybe you've never thought what happened to Humpty after his fall, but this author did and he wrote a really good story. All right, my last pick is for you fans of um, funny books and fairies again and uh, the No David books. And it is Alice the Fairy by David Shannon who wrote the David books. Um, in this story, we see Alice who tells us she's a temporary fairy because being a permanent fairy takes a lot of work. Um, she does have wings though. She does have a wand. She has a terrified frog. Um, and she goes on all kinds of adventures and battles evil, like broccoli, which she hates. Um, so it's a really funny and sweet story. All right, guys. So those are just five. That's a tiny amount of the fairy and folk tales and other kinds of really cool stories we have here. 
Um, I hope you can get on the catalog from home and look and see what we've got that you can place on hold. Also, you can um, call us and we can help give you some suggestions too if you're not sure what you want. Um, I hope you sign up for summer reading program. It starts June 1st and you just go to our website, hallcountylibrary.org and you'll find all the information you need right there. All right, till next time, guys, I hope you stay well and have a good week. Bye-bye.